So we just decided that with Regoraf and Ipstavarga, we're going to bring that patient back in one week. What are the key things you want to do with that visit, and then what are subsequent visits? Sure. So uh, first, you, you talk to them. You see how they feel, uh, their performance status, their energy level, and so on and so forth. So you want to make sure they're not feeling worse than before you started. You check if they're taking the drug? Of course. <laughs> 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 and you, you actually, it, it's a good opportunity to also to ask them. So, like, I always ask them, so how many pills do you take? Mm. They said, I take my pills. I said, how many do you take? Uh, and the how many days? So, so you know, they, they got the right information. But also, uh, blood work, and especially in Rograph, maybe you need to make sure uh, liver function is stable and, and so on and so forth. One, one thing I learned from, from some of our uh, colleagues here is that it's nice actually to walk with the patient for, for a little bit mm. and see how they function. Because sometimes I learn that patients don't like to tell you uh, if they have symptoms because they're afraid they're going to stop the drug. Yeah, we're terrible at performance status, aren't we? Because they come in dressed up for us. So I do the same. I look at their hands. I ask open-ended questions like, did you have any trouble getting your drug? You know, how many days have you taken so far? Um, so I know what I'm assessing on that day one, because sometimes they haven't gotten it, and they've only been taking three days, and maybe it's too early to see some of the side effects, and then depending on how they're doing, make adjustments or, or not. Key things on that first visit from a nursing side. Yeah, so some of the similar things, but I'm going to go in depth and just see how they're feeling on the medication. Mm -hmm. um, you know, are they having trouble eating? Are they having trouble with nausea? You know, are they having trouble with the hand, foot stuff? Just yeah. more in-depth side effect things. And then depending on how they're doing at that visit, they're back in a week or two, depending on how they were at that visit. Usually I like, in the beginning, the first I like to, to bring them in next mm. week to, mm. to just make sure everything is going okay. Uh, one other key element that Bishan also was asked about is how is this related to food? Yeah. So should they take it with food or should not uh, take it with food? And, and also want to make sure they have the anti-emetic and, and supportive medication. Yeah, and I don't know if this is fair or not, but I tell most of my patients that the package says take it after breakfast, but I tell them to take it sort of after dinner before bedtime, because mm -hmm. if you're going to be tired, you're sleeping it off. So, um, I, you know, the package says one, but they're loosening some of that about when it can be taken, but after a little food, right? Yes. All right. Um, I think especially getting the full picture with patients is really important so you can really know um, what's going on. The one way I do that, number one, is that a lot of these patients I already have um, a relationship with, so they're going to feel comfortable. So sometimes you can't go right into, how are you feeling on this medication? You have to ask, you know, when's, the, when's your daughter's graduation? sort of start the conversation that way and then go in. Another thing that's really helpful, um, sometimes the person sitting in the chair next to the patient is also a really good resource for you. Um, you know, ask the family member, how is she or he really doing? Um, you know, what are the things that they're complaining about on the daily basis at home, when, not when they're here um, in clinic with us? And then another thing is, for, peop for people to remember, um, I tell them to keep a pad at home so when they're at home they can write down, oh yeah, this day I was feeling so nauseous after I took the pill or this day I was having a lot of trouble with this. Those kind of things are good tips because sometimes when the patient is there, they're worried about maybe the news that they're going to get from the scan or they're thinking about what they have to do later the day. It, it kind of becomes overwhelming in the clinic visit. If they have something like that, um, then they're able to kind of look back and refresh.